This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Sherry Claflin with White Cloud Junior High School, White Cloud, Michigan. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Bob. It's such an honor. We have a video from your nominator. Let's take a look. The Whispering Pines and Prairie oh chapter God. daughters of the American Revolution gave Sherry an award after talking to her student, whom we gave a good citizenship award at the same ceremony. I realized that the positive impact she has had on a student deserves more recognition. Wow. Tell me about that. <laughs> um, I was given, so I had some students do a light pollution study a long time, a while ago, and the Daughters of American Revolution found out about that, and we did like a national awareness of light pollution at night because I also run an observatory in Fremont. And so they were actually awarded $15,000 from the Lexus Eco Challenge. It's no longer doing it, but it was really cool. And um, the Daughters of American Revolution found out about that and gave me an award, and I was really quite surprised then to see this. I know that at the same time, one of my, my as a senior, he was there, and that he was talking to all the ladies that were there, and she must have really talked to Alex quite a bit. <laughs> well, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Your students, you are doing some big things in your classroom. Your students are actually working with NASA. Tell us about that. So I have a group of students that started as sixth graders. These four girls um, wrote a proposal for the NASA Tech Rise Challenge. They won and were one of 60 schools around the nation that were chosen to put their experiment on a high altitude balloon which was great because then they uh, monitored the carbon dioxide all the way up through um, above the stratosphere and um, the balloon was up for like seven hours. So they have like a zillion tons of data. And then they decided, okay, we won, so we're gonna do it again. And then the next year, as seventh graders, I had them and they um, actually then created their experiment to put um, a 3D LiDAR and IR infrared and visible light and to, um, with the InSight rocket from NASA, they, it flew over a moon simulated, sorry, um, sorry, a moon simulated surface in the Mojave Desert. And that flew this summer. So. What age are these kids? Um, 11 and 12. Wow, that's incredible. And this year I have them as eighth graders and they're determined to win again. <laughs> so. Tell me about those extra things that you do with your students and why that's so important. I try really hard to get them involved in things that are outside their comfort zone. Um, I would say that this group of girls especially, but all of my kids that participate in writing the proposals for NASA, learn so much. They learn how to communicate, they learn how to write, they learn how to, to get their ideas across to people that are way different and way smarter, that's what they say, than them. And, and to be able to be chosen twice in a row is just an awesome honor. And so like for me, it's like just to see these, this group of girls, their confidence level go through the roof. As sixth graders, they were shy and quiet and wouldn't put themselves out there. As eighth graders now, they're in everything. They're fearless, they're confident, they will do. I mean, they're, they're so wonderful. You have a lot of passion for what you do, you can tell. I do, yeah, I do. Tell me about that. Um, well, I started teaching earth science a long time ago because I love it. Um, and uh, I'm actually president of the Michigan Earth Science Teachers Association right now. So it's really, it's really fun to try to get people to understand that earth science is so important, that education is so important for us to understand and know about our surroundings and our world. And so I really want to make sure that my kids, when they leave my classroom, ha hopefully have that same love for science and the earth that I do. And you're involved in the community as well. Yes, a lot. <laughs> Tell me about it. So I run an observatory in Fremont. It's, it's like between Fremont, Hesperia, and White Cloud. And um, that has been in existence since 2004. Um, we do public star parties, plus we educate kids. So it's really, it's, I'm, it's, I'm so overwhelmed and it's so cool that I have these opportunities. Wow. So. Share a moment that you know that you made a profound impact on one of your students. This was when I kind of first started teaching and I um, didn't think as a earth science teacher I was making that big of an impact. I know I love my kids and they were great and, and everything. And I had a student come back and he had joined um, 
the Army. And he came back to me and he said, Mrs. Cleflin, I wanted you to know that do you remember teaching us how to read a topographic map? We were um, out in the wilderness and all we had to get back was a topographical map. And I was the only one in my whole battalion, whatever it was, um, that could read it. And I got us back. Hmm. And he goes, and we were someplace where nobody expected us to be. So it was very cool. Wow. So, yeah, that was like knowing you made a difference, but not only the, just with this one student, but everybody around him was huge. Tell me about the difference you make in other teachers' lives. I try really hard to support other teachers. One of the, our main motto for Michigan Earth Science teachers is teachers helping teachers. So to try to make sure that we are giving all teachers around the state support in what they're trying to teach, lessons. Um, but it's not only that, but it's like the group. How do you connect with people? How do you form bonds and re relationships with people that are um, like-minded as you? And it's so important to make those connections with other people because it helps you when you're teaching it. It gives you, I don't know, it gives you the fire to yeah. teach. Well, you have a lot of fire. Thank you for what you do. You're making a difference. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. Sherry from White Cloud Junior High receives a $2,000 check from the Lottery Commissioner, Susanna Shkreli. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $28 billion to public education since 1972.